Hello. In this episode we'll talk about some of the biggest stars in the universe. If you are enjoying our content, please leave a like and subscribe to our channel. Don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future releases. You can also support us with YouTube Premium Membership, which will grant you benefits, such as viewing our videos early, loyalty badges, and access to supporter-only polls. We also have mobile games, available both on Play Store and App Store, which will be linked in description. Sun is the biggest star and the largest object in our solar system, thanks to which it is possible to live on Earth. It is so large, that we would have to drive on its surface for 5 years with a speed of 100 km per hour to go around it. However, on a cosmic scale, the Sun is just an average small star, if we compare it to the giants that roam the void of space. In this video we will show you the compilation of stars where the Sun is just a tiny ball. The first star in our overview is Pollux. Pollux is the 17th brightest star in the night sky. Its mass is about 1.8 times the mass of the Sun, and its diameter is 9 times bigger than the Sun's diameter and is as much as 12.5 million kilometers long. Pollux is more than 33 light years away from our solar system, and it is already an orange giant, which means that it has exhausted the hydrogen in its core and has begun to explode, slowly ejecting its outer shell. A similar fate awaits for our Sun when it also runs out of fuel. The temperature of Pollux's surface is approximately 4,666 kelvins, which are about 1,270,000 Celsius degrees. The brightness of Pollux is 46 times bigger than the Sun. There is a planet that is circling the Pollux, called Thestias. This planet was discovered in 2006 and it is a gas giant, which circulates Pollux at a distance of one astronomical unit. The next star is Arcturus. Fourth brightest star in the night sky, and the brightest star in the northern constellation of Bootes. Its luminosity is 110 times bigger than the Sun. It is a red giant, its mass is slightly larger than the Sun but its diameter is 34 million kilometers, which is almost 24.5 times more, than the Sun's diameter. The surface temperature is about 4,300 kelvins. In 1977 Edmund Haley discovered that Arcturus is moving very fast, with a speed of about 122 km per second. It became the first star to be found to have self-motion. Results of research conducted with the use of satellite Hipparchos, suggest that Arcturus is a binary star, which means that it is a system of two stars that are gravitationally bound to, and in orbit around each other. Further on our list, we got the brightest star in the Taurus constellation called Aldebaran. It is a binary star consisting of red giant Aldebaran A, and smaller than the sun gas giant Aldebaran B. The mass of Aldebaran is 1.7 of the Sun's mass, but its diameter is about 44 times bigger. This star shines 420 times brighter than the Sun. Research for the existence of planets in the Aldebaran system, initially pointed to some disturbances in its velocity, which could indicate the existence of planets there. However, studies of similar stars have shown that reactions within the stars themselves are very likely responsible for this. The most recent study proved that there is a planet orbiting Aldebaran after all. It is actually a gas giant 6.5 times more massive than Jupiter, that circles its star in just over one and a half years.
Rigel is a blue supergiant. It's the seventh brightest star in the night sky, and the first brightest star in the Orion constellation. It is a triple star system, containing Rigel A and Rigel B, which is a binary star placed about 2200 astronomical units away from Rigel A. Rigel varies slightly in brightness, its magnitude is ranging from 0.05 to 0.18. It is 18 to 24 times as massive as the Sun, and from 61,500 to 363,000 times as luminous. Its diameter is about 35 times that of the Sun. If placed in our solar system instead of the Sun, it would absorb the orbit of Mercury. The temperature at its surface is about 12,000 kelvins. Antares is a red supergiant. It is the brightest star in the Scorpius constellation. This star is placed 550 light-years away from the Sun and it is 10,000 times as bright. The mass of Antares is 10 times as mass of the Sun. Its diameter is about 1,182,000,000 kilometers. If placed in the solar system instead of the Sun, it would absorb its whole internal part, even the asteroid belt. The temperature of Antares's surface is about 3660 kelvins, which makes that it is quite cold star. Because of that it has a distinctly reddish color. At this point, the star systematically discards its outer shells and forms a planetary nebula around itself. The mass of Antares is so big that it is an excellent candidate for a supernova. Betelgeuse is a red supergiant in an Orion constellation, and the ninth brightest star in a night sky. It is placed approximately 640 light-years away from the Sun. Its mass is about 15 to 20 times as the Sun and its diameter can be up to 1,200 times bigger than the Sun. If placed in the solar system as a substitute for the Sun, it would reach far beyond the orbit of Mars, and Jupiter would bask in its incalescence. Betelgeuse is so large that the largest telescopes on Earth can notice its disk, not only the spotlight like with the most other stars in the night sky. There's a chance that in our lifetime Betelgeuse will spectacularly turn into a supernova. Canis Majoris is a red hypergiant in Canis Major constellation. It is placed about 4,900 light-years away from the Sun. It is a real giant, which if placed in our solar system would absorb all of its internal planets, and even Jupiter with its orbit. In the case of this star, there is a lot of uncertainties. It is caused by that, its light coming to the Earth is filtered by various types of nebula clouds. Previously, it was thought that its radius was much larger and the star would reach up to Saturn's orbit. However, recent models reject this hypothesis. It is now believed that Canis Majoris shines as much as 430,000 times brighter than our Sun. It is so large that light would take as much as 8.5 hours to circle it. The biggest star on our list is the UI Scuti. It is a red supergiant placed approximately 9,500 light-years away from the Sun, and it is 340,000 as bright. Studies have shown that it is a star so large that if it were placed in the center of the solar system, it would absorb the orbit of Jupiter and could even reach Saturn. Similar to Canis Majoris, it would take a few hours for the light to go around the UI Scuti. Even though it's such a huge star, we can't see it without a telescope, because it's placed 4,900 light-years away from Earth. 